What is up YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're not going to be doing any rebuilds. We've been doing that a lot lately. We're going to be talking about the top five trades of this offseason. This is in a specific order. Um, I think the offseason is probably officially done now with the Dwayne Wade being bought out. I think that was the last significant move we're going to see. The NBA season should be rolling around here shortly. And then we're going to be seeing all these super teams go at each other and see who's good and see who's not. There's a lot of hype of this NBA season. I just hope it lives up to its full potential. So with the first trade we got... Uh, Chris Paul to the Rockets. So that's a number five on the list. Uh, the reason why I have Chris Paul to the Rockets at number five, I think it was the most, it's the l less shocking one of the list, I feel like. Um, we all know, we all knew Chris Paul was probably good as gone from the Clippers. We all knew that. And uh, we, we all kind of figured, a lot of people thought, uh, including myself, that a Spurs would have been a good destination for him. Or, um, hell, if he wanted to go back to New Orleans, that would be an interesting spot for him with Anthony Davis, DeMarcus Cousins there. Um, I didn't think he was going to get traded to the Rockets by any means, but there was rumors around him going to the Rockets, and uh, he just happened to get traded there. And uh, I'm not going to lie, at the time, a lot of people were shocked, but I just feel like it was a most less shocking one because we did, we knew Chris Paul was going to be gone this offseason. He was going to be a free agent anyway. We knew he could sign anywhere he want, but then when he did a sign and trade, uh, that was kind of a shocking thing that happened because I figured he would just be signing a new contract with someone. But no, he opted in and then got traded to the Houston Rockets. Um, too bad the Rockets fell short of getting Carmelo. Now the Rockets don't look like they have a chance. They don't look like the team that uh, is going to be able to compete with the Warriors a lot. I mean, they have Chris Paul and James Harden. And then they, they have some uh, key pieces here. And they have Eric Gordon, Ryan Anderson. But this team needs to hit a nail on the coffin and uh, try to trade for another person. Because I don't think Chris Paul and James Harden can be the only two that go up against the Warriors, if you guys know what I mean. I just think they need a little bit more help. Getting Carmelo would have helped them a lot, but they just missed out on that opportunity, and it sucks for them. But hopefully uh, Chris Paul and James Harden are really good on the court together. I mean, James Harden did take uh, the Rockets to the third seed last year by himself, so you know I guess I can't really doubt this team just yet. So uh, I got Chris Paul getting traded to the Rockets at number five for a bunch of uh, role players from the Clippers. Next we got uh, Paul George getting traded to the Thunder. Um reason why I have this at number four, I just think the other two trades were more shocking. Um, this was a shocking trade. Uh, we knew Paul George was going to be gone after he uh, after he told the Pacers he was going he was going to leave anyway. And, uh, you know, so the Pacers want to get rid of him as fast as they could because they might as well not keep him for nothing. And uh, then just let him walk in the offseason. So they traded him uh, pretty much for scrap almost. Uh, I mean, not actually not really. I mean... I guess when the player's on a one-year deal, teams aren't going to offer a whole lot to you. I mean, they're just not, I guess. So um, I guess we can't really say that they got crap out of it because Victor Oladipo is a solid player. I mean, I think he put up 16 with the uh, Thunder last year. Then we never know what Sabonis could be one day. Um, so, yeah, definitely this was a decent trade for the Pacers. It sucked they did have to get rid of Paul George. And uh, I don't know. I guess I, I do respect Paul George for just telling him straight up that he wasn't going to return. So, you know, you guys could trade me right now, get value for me if you want. Basically like that. He didn't just, like, be like, oh, uh, play the whole season and then just walk. Uh, he let the, he, gave the Pacers, he gave the Pacers a chance to get something for him. So I do respect PG for that, and the Pacers could probably be grateful for that. Although they probably figured he was going to walk anyway. So, yeah, this offseason was just hectic, and Paul George got traded for Oladipo and Sabonis. Um, decent little trade, not the best. I feel like uh, there was a report that the Blazers offer something better. But I don't know. I don't know how much legitimacy there is to that trade. But anyway, so Paul George getting traded to the Thunder is number four on my list just because I feel like these other three are just more shocking. And we're going to be talking about the Thunder again, obviously, as they traded for Carmelo Anthony. Yeah, this one was pretty shocking. I'm not going to lie. Honestly, Carmelo, like we figured he was going to go to the Rockets. Honestly, all we did was figure he was going to the Rockets. And then the Blazers came up in conversation. And then there was reports that... Oh, Carmelo is going to take, uh, going to accept the offer for the Blazers if uh, they can't get anything done with the Rockets. And then I was getting super excited as a Blazers fan, uh, just because I want, I wanted Carmelo Anthony because it would have dumped salary. Uh, you get, like it would have dumped contracts. You know what I mean? Like maybe we got rid of Myers Leonard Harkless's contract, and then uh, Carmelo, if he walked or stayed, we'd keep Carmelo, which is fine. And if he walked, all that money would be gone, and then we would have some money in free agency. But anyway, um, Carmelo Anthony getting traded to the Thunder. That was a good trade for uh, Doug McDermott and his canter, and then a second round pick. Yeah, honestly, pretty good trade for the Thunder. They basically just got Paul George and Carmelo for not. Uh, they didn't give up a whole lot at all, so now they kind of have a.
fake three if you want to call it big four with Steven Adams there as well and I think this team could compete with the Warriors next year we're gonna have to wait and see uh, I think uh, Sam Pressy, I think the Thunder GM did some really good things this offseason obviously it does suck though because the Thunder can suck in two years I'm not gonna lie um, all three of these players in this picture right here are in one-year deals I mean they can uh Paul George is definitely on a one-year deal Russell Westbrook and uh, Carmelo could opt out and not, or opt in so uh, that'll be scary. That's going to be scary for Thunder players in the, or Thunder fans in the future because you never know what's going to happen with this Thunder team in the future. But enjoy the one season. I would enjoy it because this is going to be a lot of fun to watch. But I would just be pretty scared for your future. That's all I'm going to say. I don't know if Russell Westbrook would leave like that. I doubt he would, but I don't know. We just never know, I guess. We didn't know a lot of this was going to happen in the offseason either. And uh, that's number three on the list, Carmelo Anthony get traded to the Thunder. This one is number two on the list. Jimmy Butler trades to the Timberwolves. Um, I, I think we all knew Jimmy Butler was going to be traded eventually. It's just a matter of when it was going to happen. But a lot of people had, you know, Paul George or Jimmy Butler going to the Celtics because the Celtics had the pieces and the pick to uh, trade for it. And then out of nowhere on draft day. And this would even made it more shocking is Jimmy Butler got traded on draft day. I remember just sitting in the room with my friend. We were watching the draft and then casually just said, Jimmy Butler gets traded to the Timberwolves for Zach Levine, Chris Dunn in the first round pick. And then the Bulls gave up their first round pick as well. And I was like, what the heck just happened? And we were all in shock. This one was a crazy trade. My, I think this was the second greatest trade of the offseason. I think you guys all know where I'm going with the first one. But absolutely insane trade, man. This offseason was just crazy. And there's going to be a lot of super teams we're going to see in this offseason. It's oh, in this upcoming season. It's just a super team era now, guys. That's what we're living up to. It's going to be a lot of fun, though. I can't, I can't wait. I definitely cannot wait. Um, Jimmy Butler for sure was the second craziest trade uh number one is just a little bit more shocking i feel like um but yeah jimmy butler man oh man oh man getting traded on draft day that was absolutely insane reaction from me and including other people i would have done a video on it like right after but it was a draft and i was having fun watching the draft you know but jimmy butler traded to the tim wolves crazy crazy trade now you got uh, and they even signed jeff teague so the thumb or tim wolves are going to be a team to mess with, and I think they should definitely uh, break that playoff drought this upcoming season. Hopefully they do. It'd be very disappointing if they didn't, and I don't see how they could mess that up. I mean, health would be the only thing I could see going wrong for this team, but other than that, the sky's the limit for this team, honestly. This is a great team, and they had some great additions, honestly. So next we got Kyrie Irving traded to the Celtics. Yes, yes, yes. You know why. You all know why, because... Who in their right minds, you know, before the season, before we got in the playoffs, who in the world thought Kyrie Irving was going to be traded this offseason? No one. I honestly don't. Kyrie Irving um, said that he knew a, a whole, a, I can't even talk right now. He knew for a long time that he was going to get traded, but he was just mature about it. And Kyrie was really upset when uh, his trade request got uh, linked to the public because then it made him look like a bad guy. I think Kyrie Irving handled it really well, honestly. I think he did handle it in a mature manner. But when we all heard the news that Kyrie wanted out of Cleveland, get traded from Cleveland, and then there was a bunch of reports that LeBron James wants to beat up Kyrie, LeBron James wants to do this to Kyrie, just like stuff like that. Oh my gosh, this was an insane story at the time. So many reports left, news everywhere. Kyrie Irving um, went on uh, first take and said was very upset about all those reports and stuff. But Kyrie Irving traded for Isaiah Thomas, Jay Crowder, and that Nets pick and Zizic. Absolutely insane trade, man absolutely insane uh i just can't believe just our second round yeah and the Cavs got a second round pick out of it too didn't they they got like five things for Kyrie. um yeah celtics definitely did give up quite a bit but anyway uh honestly good trade for both sides i feel like i'm not gonna get into depth for like that because i think i've talked about it before but yeah Kyrie irving definitely the most shocking trade because no one expected this dude to be traded i guarantee you i couldn't add i could ask a single person and if they told me they knew Kyrie was gonna get traded before the playoffs started they're lying because no one knew we all thought Kyrie and lebron would be playing together next season again but that's not the case anymore and now we can uh look forward to game one um celtics versus cavaliers uh day one nba opening day that's gonna be a lot of fun to watch guys so that's basically my top five let me know what y'all think did i miss out on a trade uh, I honestly thought about putting Dwight Howard in here a little bit because they got him for like, um, they got him like for nothing, honestly, but I didn't cause I mean, there's, these are two way better five players. So, uh, that's it for me guys. Leave a like if you did enjoy it, and obviously subscribe if you haven't already. And I appreciate you guys' support and that we reach 1000. Thank you for being the best subs in the world. Let's get to 2000 soon. This Crush Bulls 
I appreciate you all so much. And I'm going to say peace here. And I want all of you to have a good day.